the fuck is Mad CMG? Alright, let me do like a funny intro. Fucking hell. Howdy, bitches. Hey, paisanos, it me, Mad CMG, and the time has finally come. It is a yearly tradition on this channel to look back at the memes of the past year. We take a look at what normie news outlets think qualify as memes, make fun of those, and then we get into what I think the best memes of the year were. I consider myself an arbiter of good memes. We do not allow bad memes on this shithole of a channel, but this video is probably going to be unnecessarily long, so enough introductory bullshit. Let's see what those filthy, filthy normies think the best memes of the year were. These videos are dry as shit. Best memes of 2021. Okay, this one's updated four days ago, so this one's pretty recent. Best memes of 2021. I can guarantee you they're all gonna suck. All right, this year felt like simultaneously the longest yet shortest year of all time. It almost feels like the Bernie Sanders, Oprah Winfrey, WandaVision, and The Weeknd memes all went viral years ago, but they really took off at the start of 2021. See, that's how you know we're already off to a bad start because they're just listing celebrities and TV shows as memes when that's not what that shit is. That's not what a fucking meme is. They always understand the assignment. Does this count as a meme? I don't fucking know. I this is definitely like a trend. I don't know that it counts as a meme per se, but I guess it counts. The red flag emoji. Okay, also pretty fair. So far, it's only been Twitter trends. You season three. This isn't a fucking meme. This is just a TV show that's probably popular. I've never even heard of the- What's the after show for that one called? Him, her, they, them, fucking- You're not fucking funny. Oprah Winfrey's interview with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. No, this isn't a meme. Go fuck yourself. Kim Kardashian's Met Gala outfit. Stop! Stop with this normie trash. Omicron variants and the oh, the oh wait. Hey, I'm walking here. Omerion variants in the Omerion challenge. What the fuck is this? They say in order to keep the Omic Omerion variant away, you have to do this routine three times in the mirror. <laughs> What's the fucking joke? Plus, why the fuck do they always feel the need to put like challenge at the end of everything? This is like such a normie thing that normies do when it comes to memes. Everything has to be like a challenge. It's so fucking weird. I don't understand it. Two guys on a bus. Okay, this is actually a good meme. The first actual real fucking meme of this list so far. Okay, Jay-Z at the harder they fall party? What the fuck is this? Oh, it's just a fucking reaction image. Okay, uh, I've literally never seen this meme in my life. Squid Game. S okay, let me put it this way. This is another thing we always see with these kinds of lists, is they always have, like, they'll just list a show that was popular that year as, like, a meme. And sure, there may have been memes made from that show or from that thing that everybody's talking about, but, like, the thing itself is not a meme. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Squid Game as a, as, a, as a show is not a meme, but there were memes made of it. You know what I'm saying? It only half counts. The Super Bowl, oh wait, the weekend Super Bowl halftime show. This definitely counts as a meme, but it definitely, like, radiates normie energy. Like, there were non normies who used this meme, but, like, it definitely has fucking normie energy for sure. WandaVision. Motherfucker, WandaVision's not a meme. This screenshot from it is a meme. WandaVision as a concept is not a meme. Okay, this one was funny though. Fucking Vishon, that's actually good. Bernie Sanders and his mittens at the inauguration. Stop. This is the second year in a row in which Bernie Sanders has been put on these fucking lists. The American people are tired of this fucking shitty meme. Even without knowing this was at the inauguration, you could tell this was a January meme because January memes always suck dick. Kevin Hart's damn. What the fuck? Damn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that's actually good. I actually hate that I laughed at that, but that was good. <laughs> Mary Jane defending Peter Park. This is actually a good meme, what? I actually forgot about this meme. Very culturally relevant too, because Spider-Man just came out. The new one. The fucking, you know the one. Alright, alright, that was actually not that bad of a list. I'm surprised, genuinely. Let's see what, uh, let's see what Vogue thinks, because they're definitely the fucking arbiters of, uh, of meme culture here. Yeah, totally. Totally don't want to kill myself right now. It's been a long and often difficult year, marked by vaccine joy, vaccine envy, vaccine anxiety, and pretty much everything else vaccine-related. Stop! I will- <sighs> Can these, can fucking normies please stop, like, fucking, you know, romanticizing the vaccine, please? Like, shut the fuck up. Like, what? Ah, ah, it hurts. It hurts! The cringe hurts! I want to fucking die! Alright, shocked Oprah. 
Can we stop just like using a fucking t Can we stop just saying, hey, here's a tweet, that's a meme now. Shut the fuck up. Learn what memes are, please, cunt. The retro luxury of House of Gucci. I don't know what the fuck that is. Basic bitches need to fucking relax. Every, th every time a new show comes out on Netflix, all the basic bitches are all up in that shit. Like, that's their entire personality for the next three weeks until the next Netflix show comes out. Get, get, a, get, get, get fucked. Get fucked. Harry Styles dazed shoot. What the fuck is this? Like, no hate to fucking Harry Styles or whatever, but like... This isn't a fucking meme, this is a fucking image. Leonardo DiCaprio's close encounter with Jeff Bezos. I've actually never seen this, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, get fucked, Bezos. That's gonna be Jeff Bezos' like supervillain origin story. He's gonna become like literally real life Lex Luthor because he basically already is. But <laughs> his motivation's gonna be like, oh, Leonardo DiCaprio did not talk to me at the fucking event. He's gonna fucking glass New York or some shit. Putting the COVID-19 vaccine in context. Stop. This isn't a fucking meme. Go fuck yourself. For real. This is actually pissing me off because it's not a fucking meme. Just suck my actual dick. Check on Jake Gyllenhaal. No. No. This is- no. Stop. No. No. Just no. For the better, right? Ah. This is an okay meme. It's very, like, it's very, it's very, uh, like, fucking Reddit, like, our dank memes kind, kind of shit, but, like, it's not terrible. Definitely not the worst four-panel meme I've seen out there, but definitely, um, definitely not a great one, for sure. Noodle the Pugs No Bones Days. What the fuck is this? This meme was sparked by a TikTok of a 13-year-old pug named Noodle, who either wakes up on Bone Day, when he can stand up and live his life accordingly, or a No Bone Days, where he just flops around and does nothing. Who can relate? Okay, who can relate? Shut your fucking mouth. But like, let's, let's actually watch this. What the fuck is this? Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to yet another round of No Bones, the game where we find out if this? my 13-year-old pug woke up with bones. And subsequently, we find out what kind of day we're gonna have, because his body has sort of become this con of our good fortune. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there are bones, there are bones today. Okay, all right, you know what that means. Treat yourself today, schmooze that judge, buy those diamonds, put that fried chicken on your salad. Don't buy the diamonds, you can be smarter with your money, but treat yourself today. Okay, the commentary behind it was okay, it was kind of funny, like his, his little narration was kind of cool, but like, this isn't really a meme, this is just a viral TikTok. This is, again, a, a lot, always these normie news outlets are like, oh, I love that meme, but it's like one fucking TikTok. That's not a meme, it's just a TikTok. The stuck Suez Canal boat. I actually fucking forgot about this. I forgot about this. The memes were kind of cringe though. Typically current event memes are just like always bad. Sea shanty TikTok. Okay, this wasn't a TikTok thing exclusively, but yes, sea shanties are fucking back, baby. I could fuck, I go hard, let's go hard to some fucking sea shanties. <laughs> French dispatch. The French ditch. I'm stupid. The French dispatch cast at Cannes. No, this isn't fucking funny. Stop. Stop now. Simply, simply cease. Bean dad. I fucking forgot about this too. It's unlocking memories I forgot I had. But yeah, this shit was really cringe. Uh, fuck, th fuck this, fuck this guy, but also fuck the people like saying, oh, it's such a meme. What is- nah, everybody- literally every single person was clowning on this fucking cunt. The best memes of 2021, because the internet is you. Go fuck yourself, please. A whole load of Beatles gags. Yeah, there was- there must have been a whole load of these, because I remember seeing a total of zero of these. Ever. In my life. Have you guys watched that documentary yet? I call it a documentary, but go on. Well, what's that guy's name? That fucking big tub of lard that made Mr. The Beetle. Miss I'm Mr. Beetle, and here's my <laughs> cock. <laughs> So I can look at it, it's dangling. It's dangling, look at the little hairs coming off, it's dangling. The great Facebook and Instagram and some other stuff outage of 2021. <sighs> it's not a meme. Oh, by the way, I talked about this on my Patreon exclusive podcast, the first and 15th podcast, only available on patreon.com slash mattcmg for as low as $5. Consider giving it a fucking thing if you want to hear my thoughts on this bullshit and other bullshit that happened. GB News. Literally, what the fuck is this? Soft men, hard men, 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 soft times men hard. I think.
think the joke is that I was supposed to have a stroke reading this, and I definitely fucking did. Ah, the Olympics. A year later than build, and not exactly pop wildly popular in Tokyo and Japan at large, the Olympics finally pitched up and did what the Olympics always do, grab you by the heartstrings every 20 minutes and make you tear up at the sight of some strong sporting excellence in a discipline you had no idea existed until Lutalo Muhammad told you it did. What? Who fucking watches the Olympics? And more importantly, if you are watching the Olympics, why are you getting, um, you know, tugged by the heartstrings every 20 minutes and making you tear up? Who- who watches the Olympics and cries? What kind of- how fucking mentally unstable are you, cunts? Oh yeah, by the way, oh yeah, in the, in the Olympics, got, getting pushed back a year, fucking Akira predict that shit. Go watch my anime video, fucker. Poor David Marshall. Who? The Marvel Mega Trailer. Is this where pop culture is going now? We're going to the point where like, oh, companies announcing um, a bunch of fucking shitty movies is now considered a meme. I want you to think about that for a second and think about how fucking dumb that sounds. The Oscars at large. What? Dancing Daniel Brull. What? What the fuck is this? You can be a different person after the pandemic. I have quite literally never seen this meme in my life. What are you talking about? Oh, here we fucking go! March 2020 versus March 2021. Oh, bloody hell. A whole calendar year of this pl palaver. Pal- what the fuck? Bloody hell. A whole calendar year of this palaver. Everything has changed and nothing has changed. You've completely overhauled your outlook and you have been held in stasis. You have aged a thousand years and your life has been paused. Bloody, bloody hell. No, go fuck yourself. Um, this isn't funny. This is not funny. Here's the joke for this. 2020 was bad, but like, uh, 2021 is also bad. <laughs> Kinda crazy. Like, it took one of the worst meme formats of 2020 and somehow made it worse. Mexican Coke. Okay, let's get fucking epic. Politicians ex attempting to talk to the youth of today invariably produces excellent moments. Like the time David Cameron bored a seven-year-old to death. More bizarrishly, Rishki Sunak tried to connect with the voters of tomorrow by admitting he has a terrible addiction to Mexican Coke. That's a Central American Coca-Cola. Just say Mexican if it's Mexican. Come on. Stop being a pussy. That Texas lawyer with the cat filter on Zoom. No. Not a meme. Not a meme. Jackie Weaver and the Handforth Parish Council. What? It's just a whole fucking video at this point. It's just me, me, been me going, what? What the fuck? What are these people talking about, dude? Don't worry about what's in the vaccine. Oh, is that fucking Wolfie Glick? Holy shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see a fucking competitive Pokemon player in these fucking lists. Oh, this doesn't count as a 2021 meme. This was made in 2020. Suck my dick. <laughs> I got him. He's nuts. <laughs> yeah, no, fuck that. That's cringe. Hey, y'all, the pizza here. So that's what normies think memes are. And of course, uh, they're all fucking wrong, as always. So now let's get into what I think the best memes of the year were, month by month. There might be some overlap between this and what we covered in the articles, but f fuck what they think anyways. So, you know. Who gives a shit? So for January on my list, I firstly I firstly put down um, influx of terrible 2020 was bad, so 2021 is good, but actually it's bad memes. I already kind of explained it earlier. It's not fucking funny. Just stop. Next there was a wake up. I put wake up. This was a good meme, unironically. Wake up. Wake up. Wake, wake up. up. Wake, wake up. up. We had that terribly cringe Grubhub ad that was kind of a normie meme in some ways, but kind of funny, depending on, uh, you know, context dependent. Uh, more shoe, we got, dude, it's, it's been a thing for the past couple years, but memes are coming full circle. More shoe, the back in the, you know, the old Zelda CDI memes used to be a huge thing for YouTube poops back in the day, and now they're just, it's coming back. More shoes back, RTX is on, baby, let's fucking go. Lamp oil, rope, bombs, you want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rubies. We had Lady D from uh, from Resident Evil, uh, and everybody was perpetually horny for, which I, I don't understand. I don't get it. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Personally, I think nine foot tall undead vampire pussy probably doesn't taste doesn't taste too good, would be my guess. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus or something. Goddamn. Of course, we couldn't talk about 2021 memes without talking about Among Us. Starting from just January alone, Among Us memes just became a year-long thing. You could never really escape them. And sure, after a few months, they did get a little bit cringe and they stopped being funny. They never really stopped, you know, just in, in being in there in its entirety, you know what I mean? Like, there was always some kind of Among Us meme. You know, whether it be like, oh, accidentally seeing the astronaut's helmet in, uh, in you know, innocuous places, or like, you know, people like Arcade Craniacs just kind of taking the piss out of the whole meme in general. So much Among Us stuff. STOP, stop. 
posting about Among Us. I'm tired of seeing it. My friends on TikTok send me memes. On Discord, it's fucking memes. I was in a server, right? Penis, more like peen sauce. Anyway, that shit was poggers. The second last thing on my list here is, is Sigma males. The whole Sigma male, alpha male kind of shit really became a meme in January. And I'm, and I'm glad it did. I'm glad it became a meme because honestly, those fucking like, those like, you know, self-help fucking men, guru, epic being a man, guru kind of, kind of motherfuckers, they're so cringe. They've been cringe for years and it's finally time that somebody starts taking the piss out of them. Let's be honest, being a Sigma male is just being a friendless loser with extra steps. Suck my dick. Something that I've noticed in previous years is that January memes are almost always bad. And the best January memes typically are almost always carryovers from December of the last year. But 2021's January memes were actually kind of, like, good. And weirdly enough, they kind of defined memes that year, which is kind of bizarre. You don't really see that happening. This is a very rare instance of, like, January memes not being ass. Moving on to February, uh, the first thing I have on my list is the $19 Fortnite card. $19 Fortnite card. This was a meme I never really understood. Dude, but I, I do think it's still I do think it's pretty funny, you know, it's such it's it's very bizarre that like, you know <laughs> It's a $20 Fortnite card, but you're calling it a $19 Fortnite card And even if you weren't like who sells a $19 th item like oh, I'm gonna go buy myself a 17 and a half dollar gift card Like no nobody fucking does that like why would there be a $19 Fortnite card? It don't make no sense to me Oh, uh, we have the we had the bugs bunny I wish you a very die or some shit kind of meme very remixable meme You are still seeing it used like even recently. It's a very good meme format. I like it. It's very it's a very rare instance of like a, of a good format meme plus it kind of makes fun of all those like really weird like fucking gangster mobster like you know uh fucking edits of ca classic cartoon characters like spongebob sipping lean or some shit like it's 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 a weird way to make fun of that shit which i, I really i really like i appreciate that that uh that somebody's speaking memes are now speaking to me directly and i love it Snap back to reality <laughs> The average fan, average enjoyer meme. This is definitely, this is, this is again, this was another meme format that we, you kind of still see it being used today, even though it's months and months old, almost a year old. It's kind of crazy that, uh, that some memes can just kind of last that long, but this is an example of one that I think makes, uh, you know, pretty, pretty decent sense. But at the same time, it was kind of the template for a lot of other memes. Like, for example, that bus meme that we looked at during the articles, that's kind of just an off brand version of the average fan, average enjoyer meme. Like, it's just, like, oh, people were being mad and upset about this thing, but uh, us, 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 fucking people are just chilling and vibing and enjoying this thing you know what i mean like it's just it's kind of the same concept but the, i feel like the average fan enjoyer one takes a little more effort uh like higher effort memes for sure neuron activation is a bit of an older meme but it's uh it, it checks out you know it kind of saw it's 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 biggest uh spike in popularity around 2021 so i guess it counts as a 2021 meme plus it has monkeys in it return to monkey single available on on fucking spotify and shit i for gore i probably for gore to put the fucking card up there because i'm an idiot Chug Jug with you. How could we forget Chug Jug with you? Now, Chug Jug with you was a Fortnite parody from like 2019 or some shit like that, back when Fortnite was being seen as cringe. And even today, it's kind of still is seen as cringe. It kind of is. But <laughs> Chug Jug with you never ceases to go fucking hard. Like anytime I hear the actual, like the actual song that they're parodying, like that shit comes on in the car or whatever, like I'm, I'm always, I'm straight to the lyrics of Chug Jug with you. It goes fucking dummy. Moving on to March, we have the Trolls. The Trolls kind of, again, kind of a 2020 meme that kind of carried over a little bit. It, but it got its, you know, its biggest kind of surge in popularity in 2021, so it's kind of count here. It's a good way of remixing an old kind of tried and true format, but like kind of also, you know, fucking with it, making it a little edgy, making it a little doomery. I like it. Trade offer. My good videos. Your money on Patreon. Give it now, fucker. Next we have Aunt Cass from fucking uh, Big Hero 6 and her big fucking titties. Again, y'all motherfuckers are perpetually horny. Y'all need to calm down. If rubbing one out ain't enough for you, that's a problem. But it, but, yeah. Big titties. Big milky. The baby. Let's go. The baby turning into a convertible, being homophobic. To baby, like hell, his his let's go thing even became my fucking profile picture this year, and I'm gonna keep it even though it's a dead meme and the baby's kind of cringe. But let's go, bread, 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 bread. 
Kanye East. Let's go. That motherfucker goes hard. Kanye East is such a fucking mad lad because that motherfucker will rap literally anything. Watch any Kanye East video. He'll say something about touching kids. He'll say something about like, I fucking killed an autistic person. Like it's all kinds of fucking crazy shit. Like, oh, George Floyd sucked his dick or something. Like, whoa, calm down. Fortnite balls. I'm gay. I like boys. I kidnap autistic kids. Little Mosey is watching. April memes. We have here's your receipt, sir. That's, uh, this was one I never really saw when it first came out, but, like, I looked into it just a little bit for research for this video. Some good memes, kind of, uh, kind of doomery. Taking a nice little, taking a good old, some good old-fashioned Rule 34, kind of remixing it into a, to a little wholesome kind of meme type beat. And it's a little, a little got a hint of doomery, doomeriness in there. Pretty poggers, little po pretty pog. Hey, it's pretty poggers, bro. April also saw the 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 advent of the Josh fight. This was something that was teased all the way back in April of 2020, but a year later they actually held the Josh fight, and it was pretty fucking epic. A bunch of guys named Josh just came into a field and just brawled with fucking pool noodles. They fucking beat the dick out of each other, and only one remained, and he was a little fucking kid. They call him Little Josh. Shout out, to, shout, shout out to Little Josh. Now with Matt being one of the most common names, and my name being Matt, I'm the one Matt to rule the all. So I think we need to have a Matt fight to really uh, prove that. Any other people named Matt out there? Y'all want to square up? Let's fucking throw hands. Let's go. Let's fucking. I'm. I'm about to. I'm about to. But you know what I'm saying? That was fucking bad. That was bad form right there. Better than Chris Chan. I'll tell you that much. Also in April, we saw that we saw a large uptick in Dean Norris and just Breaking Bad memes in general, which is which is great for sure. Dean Norris, the uh, the the guy who played Hank in Breaking Bad, became a meme uh, in, in a few different ways. Uh, you know, they they did the you know the whole uh, yeah yeah that meme. You know what I'm saying? That <laughs> somebody got him to say "sussy baka" it was some good shit. Sussy baka. And plus, it was great because he just leaned into it. Like he's a he's a good sport about it. He's like, yeah, I like the meme. I'm down for it. Get some Schrader brow, some the sussy baka. You know, the fucking Dean Norris moment. Morta Twy also became a big thing in April. Again, it's it's another another example of like nostalgia being a big factor in meme culture this year. Where it's just it's taking this really old fucking thing and kind of remixing it and making it a modern thing, which is which is great. Airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars. I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Yeah, yo. We had the rock eyebrow. <laughs> Castaways from the Backyardigans uh, became kind of a, not really a meme, but it came a bit of a, a big thing on, on TikTok for a while. Um, I decided to count it just because the song kind of goes hard, but uh, it's not really really a meme per se. And the last meme I have written down for April is Sonic eats a lemon and dies. This was definitely a very underrated meme in my opinion. Uh, I made my own version of it in the uh, in the Lollicon video. Lolly porn. But it's a definitely an underrated meme. You could definitely remix that shit a lot, but like, I feel like nobody did. I don't know, like there was like a Sonic version, there was a couple other versions, uh, and that was kind of it. It was kind of uh, kind of an underrated meme. I feel like that needs to come back. May was the big month for- Great show, go watch it. But uh, we had a couple um, memes come out of uh, of Invincible, both of which involving Omni Man. Funny, funnily enough, think Mark, think. That was one of the most remixable memes I think I ever saw um, this year for sure. Definitely, so many different versions of the Think Mark meme. It's insane. The other big elephant of the thick Omni Man. He's going for it. You know what I'm saying? He's got a big juicy ass. What are you gonna do about it? John, I have, I, I've written down John Gina and I forgot what the fuck that meant. But then I, now I'm remembering it's John Cena speaking Chinese. That video is so fucking abnormal. It's so weird. When it comes to like Reddit format memes, uh, I usually don't like them, but haha, Jonathan, you are banging my daughter. That's a fucking good one right there. I like, I think that's an actual, that's a rare example of a good Reddit meme. Like just start, just start taking that fourth panel and just put it all over the fucking place. And this month in perpetually horny news, Samsung Sam. She's not even official, but everybody wanted to fuck her. I also wanted to fuck her. Uh, that's beside the point. Hey man, you trying to get your photos printed? Focus printed? What? Bogos Binted is one of those memes where it's not really remixable, it's not really like, you know, thought provoking, but it's just, it's just fucking stupid, and that's the joke. But the fact is, I can't seem to get off of his fat dick. Mask by Dream was such a bad song, bad music video, really cringe message, really fucking normy shit. Don't know why so many people liked it, but then I remember that uh, Minecraft YouTuber stands are fucking insane, uh, so, you know. What do you expect, really? Fuck Dream. Fuck, fuck Dream. Fuck Minecraft stands. Fuck, 
Fuck you. Fuck the dream SMP. Get ready for the cringe SMP coming in 20 whenever I decide to fucking do it. I got plans, baby. Any other YouTubers want in on this? Hit me up. DM me on Twitter. And I think I think the biggest contribution uh, that May of 2021 had on memes this year uh, was the return of D's nuts jokes, such as you know D's nuts, Candy's dick fit in your mouth, uh, fucking uh, sig sug my balls. All that kind of shit all kind of came back, and I'm, and I, I'm down for it. I'm, I'm, I'm in it. These nudge jokes have definitely become a huge part of the culture over at my streams at twitch.tv slash mattcmgyt. Uh, go stop by to put an inch on your penis and moisten your pussy. My name, Deez. These nuts. <laughs> Almost halfway through the year, we're in June. We had Saddam Hussein memes uh, becoming a big thing. The Saddam Hussein's little underground gamer lair. I want that, but unironically. No meme. No, it's actually Markiplier. <laughs> Your dress is Markiplier? Yeah. Oh no, sorry, I got the wrong skin. Fuck, I thought this was. <laughs> no, this is this is the mistake. This is Saddam Hussein. I didn't mean to do this. Uh, <laughs> we all we saw the people who know versus people who don't know meme. Kind of gets an alteration of the uh, of the of the Dean Norris meme from earlier this year, but it's with Mr. Incredible now, so it's it's new though. Suck my dick. Submissive and breedable became a common phrase this this month. Um. Don't know why. Oh wait, I forgot. You're all perpetually horny. My bad. I like the I like the call me Carson version of this meme where he you know he broke his fucking months long silence after being outed as doing some fuck shit just to say, I just want to be bred and breeded. The fucking the fucking ramblings of a madman, I tell you. That's why you don't trust Minecraft YouTubers, guys. That's all I'm saying. Dom Toretto family memes. Fa Fast and the Furious came out that month, I believe. The big, the big summer blockbuster of that of that year. Um. And the Dom Toretto family memes got tired after uh, 20 whole minutes. I don't, I don't understand how people kept remixing these past like a fucking day. Like these were the same. It was the same joke every time, and it wasn't really that funny to begin with. We have the pointing soy jack, absolute classic. It is a bit of an older format, but it's kind of again it gained prevalence this year. You know, Wojak's for a very long time just kind of became relegated to just 4chan culture, and, uh, and you know, 4 4chan as a as a as a site has just as as influenced internet culture as a whole in so many ways. And I think Soy and Wojaks are just part of that now, I guess. For better or for worse. Welcome to the jungle, motherfucker. CMG in this bitch. And I got an itch on my dick. And it measures six inch, but I ain't rich, ain't got shit. I do that a little too well. And keeping in line with nostalgic things, we had the iCarly interesting meme. Uh, now this was a, uh, this was originally a meme uh, from a Drake and Josh episode, but when the iCarly reboot came out in 2021, around this time in June, uh, you know there was a there was a, a version of it that Miranda Cosgrove did for the iCarly revival, kind of paying homage to it, which I talked about in my uh, one of my iCarly videos. Go watch it right there. But it's great that, that you know again memes are kind of coming full circle. That meme format kind of got a resurgence this year for sure in a different way. Last on, last I have for June is there was no such thing as a coincidence, which is this fucking creepy looking motherfucker doing his creepy ass shit. And I love it. Shout out to that motherfucker. That guy's a legend. Excuse me. Ah! July, July was surprisingly light on memes from what I was able to find, what I was able to remember. Um, so I only have three of them. Uh, the first is the Shroom Jack. Uh, if you don't know what the Shroom Jack is, it's this guy. Pretty fucking poggers. He's a demon. This is real. Nah, I fucking love the Shroom Jack. He's, he looks so fucking stupid, and I love it. Regular Show became a really big source of memes this year, um, which is kind of crazy considering the show ended like fucking five years ago or something like that, like four or five years ago, something like that. I'm actually re-watching Regular Show right now for a video that you guys will see in 2022, so subscribe to see that shit right now. You know, we saw a lot of memes making fun of the Regular Show kind of format and the formula where, you know, they'll they'll have like a normal, normal everyday problem that they solve through these fucking crazy ass memes that make no fucking sense. That's the beauty of Regular Show and that's the beauty of these memes is that they're kind of self-aware enough to realize, you know, that shit. And last thing for July, I had us, I wrote down SpongeBob doxing you. Doxing just became a really big meme for some reason this year. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm, I'm down for it. It. Moving on to August, this was another lighter month for memes. I only have a, only have uh, four on here. We have the Jacko pose. This was popularized by uh, Guilty Gear, that new Guilty Gear game that came out uh, with that fucking absolute banger song in it. But yeah, the Jacko pose, really cool. A lot of hentai of the Jacko pose. Can't be upset about that. Speaking of hentai, mommy sorry, mommy sorry, mommy sorry, mommy sorry. Can I get some breast milk? Oh, sorry, I mean breast milk. I mean breast milk. I mean breast milk. I'm sorry, I mean breast milk. Parappa the Rappa also made a bit of a comeback where, you know, you, I slammed my penis in a car door. Don't know why Daffy Duck is in here, but I'm down with it. Parappa the Rappa, more like Parappa the Brapper. Follow me on Twitter for more banger tweets like that. Oh! And lastly for August, I put down the intruder. 
This very fucking edgy kind of meme. I like it. I vibe with it. It's actually a really old meme that originates from 4chan back in like 2010. But it's it's made it's really it's made a real big resurgence this year. So I'm counting it as this year. Moving on to September, uh, the first thing I have here is another thing uh, that revolves around you people being perpetually horny. Um, Anka Zone, or which is uh, you know Anka from fucking Animal Crossing, some some hentai animation made by Zone, the legendary Zone Tan or Zone Tan, however the fuck you say it. Known for such masterpieces as the Motherfuckers. Shout out to Zone, man. Absolute legend. Y'all motherfuckers need to calm down, though. Y'all are too horny. Y'all need to relax. Zam, she's 12. September also saw the release of the long-awaited Deltarune Part 2, or Chapter 2, which I actually played through on stream live at twitch.tv slash matchteamgyt. One of the biggest memes to come out of that game was, uh, God fucking damn it, Chris, where the fuck are we? It's a really clever meme, you know, you kind of just put Chris and, uh, Susie in any fucking thing, and it's immediately funny that... That's how it works, I don't know. Pretty short-lived meme, but it was a pretty good meme for the time it was around. And how could we forget, this September, we saw the return of 21? 21. September 10th, 2021 was the legendary day, the day of reckoning. He returned, the king himself returned from the fucking ashes of his failures to remind us that nine plus 10 does in fact equal 21. The first meme I have for October is actually a bit of a more recent meme, but it first became a thing in October, so I'm counting as an October meme, is, uh, low tier god, you should kill yourself now! This is a great meme, it just doesn't hold back. I don't even play fighting games, I'm not even involved in the fighting game community at all, but low tier god is a fucking legend, dude. The amount of fucking rage rants this man has gone on is fucking unmatched. October also saw the, uh, the four panel couple texting meme, which on its own is kind of cringe, but like once you remix it a couple, a different, few different ways, it, it becomes pretty, pretty decent. Dwayne The Rock Johnson has of course become a big, a big piece of meme culture and pop culture in general in the past year, but I think his biggest contribution to meme culture has been his verse on the Tech 9 song face off. Be the rock rapping as a premise is just so fucking weird to me. His verse actually does kind of go hard, you know what I mean? Like, shout out to Derek, some black guy for making his gay cover of it, which is so fucking funny. I want to drain the main vein, prostate massage so insane until you scream, I'm so motherfucking gay. It's a good shit, some good shit right there. Shout out to some black guy. Have me on Snark Tank. Just kidding, I'm not good enough for Snark Tank. Also in October, we had the, uh, probably my favorite meme of the year, uh, funnily enough, which is Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> now this is a meme that takes audio from a Flight Reacts video and puts it over this fucking stupid One Piece, uh, little video that he fucking spliced together from the, the Skypea arc. I feel like the, I think the reason this is my favorite meme is because I've actually been reading One Piece, um, starting at the end of October, and that's when I first heard about, about this meme, so I'm like, oh, this is a funny One Piece meme. And then when I got to the, to Skypea recently, I was like, oh, that's the meme. Like, I got to that panel, I'm like, that's the meme! It's the, it's a damn Daniel! <laughs> This is the only meme that uses the words Damn Daniel that I didn't immediately want to fucking kill myself at the, at the sight of. This meme made me like the term Damn Daniel, and it's fucking dumb and I love it. And lastly for October, Spongebob Blink 182. So earlier in 2021, there was this uh, lost media hunt started by Ribble Taxi or Pan Pizza, whatever you want to call him, where he was trying to look for this old uh, Spongebob music video uh, from MTV Video Mods. Uh, set to a Blink-182 song, set to all the small things by fucking Blink-182. And a few months passed, the, the video was eventually found, and a few months later, in uh, October of 2021, somebody made a parody of the, the of all the small things, but using the Spongebob characters, mixing it with some other Spongebob meme. And the, the best part about it is that it actually goes fucking hard. This stupid meme song that, where the lyrics are just Spongebob characters somehow fucking slaps. It's on Spotify, actually. Go listen to that shit. It fucking goes hard. It unironically goes harder than the original song. One of the biggest memes of November was most definitely the uh, the pondering my orb meme. Very like a very esoteric meme. I don't know if that's a good way to describe it, but like it's very this meme is very esoteric. Like it doesn't make any sense, but like you just vibe with it. You know what I mean? Like yes, like I too can relate to pondering my orb. I don't have an orb to ponder, but like I can relate. You know what I mean? The Travis Scott apology video. In case you somehow don't know, earlier in 2021 there was a fucking tragedy at a, at a Travis Scott concert where a bunch of people died. It was it was some fuck shit. You know they just got their they just suffocated to death in the middle of these crowds at this Travis Scott concert. And, you know Travis Scott didn't really do anything to stop it. He just kept singing as like people were fucking crowd surfing a carcass. You know like it's a really fucked up situation, but like it was also kind of funny. You know imagine the last thing you hear while you're getting trampled to death is the fucking beat change and sick. Mode. Yeah, kill my fans, a kill my fans, a kill my fans, a kill all my fans, a. But after the tragedy at, at Astro World, Travis Scott issued an apology video where he looks very unsincere. But recently, people were be, have been remixing it and kind of like, oh, you're making the make it like a bit of a bra moment type thing where it's like, oh shit, uh, somebody, you know, mom found the piss jar, fucking oh. 
fucking Travis Scott, you know? Good meme. Definitely remixable, but I feel like it wasn't remixed enough, you know? I feel like there was more potential there. We had Kyle Rittenhouse crying. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking forgot I put this one in there. So the Kyle Rittenhouse trial, regardless of your opinions on it, was was the source of one of the funniest memes, which is Kyle Rittenhouse fucking crying at his testimony. It's it's just funny. I don't know, like the way people like just adding a funny caption to that shit just makes it funnier. <laughs> And lastly, for November, we saw The Flash running. So this is a, a green screen meme from like a behind the scenes video of The Flash. I think it was actually The Flash's 150th episode. I'm actually a fan of The Flash because I'm a fucking loser. But green screen memes as a, as a whole are typically very remixable. That's just how they are. This was a good meme. Very underrated meme, I might add. You son of a bitch. It's what me, is it? the Lightbringer. <laughs> but last but not least, we have December. I only have three memes for December just because December is not really over yet by the time I'm recording this video. So there very well might be a few more uh, memes to come out this year, uh, you know, in the next, last fucking 10, 11 days of the, of the month. I'm recording this on the 20th. First thing I have is the Death Threats meme. Nothing says Death Threats, like a bunch of anime girls fucking dancing. Nothing, nothing, it always goes hard. <laughs> Across the Spider-Verse was recently announced, the follow-up to the very fucking fantastic Into the Spider-Verse. That movie got announced this this year recently, um, and so people started making memes of the trailer of Gwen Stacy looking at fucking Miles Morales' uh, fucking weird hentai drawings. Funny. Horny. Stop. And the last meme I'm going to talk about today um, is the You Hire Mammal meme. Now, this was a Twitter meme that was kind of going around for a, like a day, but I feel like it died way too soon. It could have been a way better fucking meme. I'm not sure where this meme came from, but it features the the penguin, one of the penguins from Madagascar, you know, you know, asking if you understand this thing, you know, it's very, explain this thing to me. You have AIDS, you know, pretty, pretty decent meme. I think it's a definitely a very versatile meme. I, I, I made a version of it on my Twitter. Uh, which you should go follow, by the way. So, that has been a little recap of 2021's memes and my thoughts on them. Personally, 2021 was a pretty good year for memes. There were a few stingers in there, but that's kind of always to be expected, you know? Hopefully, 2022's got some banger memes as well, and I'm definitely gonna be capitalizing on that shit if I can. Fuck. But, that is all for this video, and that is the last video for 2021. So, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what your favorite memes of the year were. Subscribe to see the absolute bangers I'm coming out with in 2022. And consider pledging to my Patreon to help support the channel. I've met CMG, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Rumble, they gon' take your face off. They gon' rumble, they gon' take your face off. They gon' rumble, they gon' take your face off. They gon' rumble, they gon' take your face off. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we defy. Put in the work, put in the hours, and take what's out. Like in Samoan in my veins, my culture banging was strange. I changed the game, so what's my motherfucking name? Who we gonna fuck though? Desecration, defamation. If you wanna bring it to the masses, face to face, that we escalate. When I have to put boots to ass, me and on you. Like a dream when I'm rumbling, you're gonna scream. Mom, so bring drama to the king, bro. Good what? Coming at you with extreme mana. Face off.